Okay, so we're at the Sa the Samsung Galaxy S event, and we've got all four of the Samsung Galaxy S's for U.S. market, and, uh, and we're going to get a quick hardware, software kind of overview of everything. Great. So this is the uh, T-Mobile Vibrant, 9.9 millimeters, Super AMOLED, Samsung TouchWiz. What you see is on each of the seven screens, we've create we put your core applications that the operator chooses. Uh, at the bottom of the screen so you can get access to those anywhere. You see, jump right to your applications and jump right home. In messaging, we have the swipe keyboard. Which allows you to quickly type on a touch screen anywhere. In addition to the normal keyboard. Of course, Social Hub is integrated, social networking natively integrated into your contact. So of course there's a traditional contact list. This will merge contacts from any of the sources, Gmail, Twitter, MySpace, Facebook, etc. Exchange and give you an icon of what, where the source comes from. So for an account that has multiple, like my personal phone, you'll see four or five icons next to it as all the data is merged together. And then what the beautiful thing of it is your social networking is native to the device. So I can see exactly what's going on with the people that I'm interested in right from the right from the uh, contact list I don't have to jump from app to app in addition that same information is carried in your feeds your buddies widget so if I want to follow four or five four people and then your feeds and updates widget. oh let me get rid of this widget and show you the Samsung widgets there is the uh, feeds and updates widget so then a couple of the key people and I can retweet or reply right from there. So this has a 5 megapixel camera, 720p, 30 frame per second video record. In addition, the T-Mobile device comes with the movie Avatar preloaded on it. And so what we do on our movies is we do custom encode of the content to match the display resolution, color, and processor. So what you get is the highest quality video in the smallest possible file size. So when the Media Hub launches and you've been able to purchase premium movie and TV content, all that video will look extraordinary. No letterboxing, no cutting off of the content. Compare this to anything you see in the industry, it'll be truly extraordinary. Awesome. Okay? So if you uh, jump to the Verizon product, in addition to uh, the core Android services, we'll be supporting Bing. Um, and this one's called the? This is called the uh, uh, Verizon Fascinate. Also 9.9 .9 millimeters, CDMA EVDL Rev A supports Bing Search and Bing Maps in addition to some core Verizon services such as uh, uh, mobile hotspot, mobile IM, um, VCast movies, etc. And then let's jump to the uh, Evo, uh, sorry, the uh, Sprint Epic 4G. This is uh, the only QWERTY lineup, QWERTY in the lineup, 4-inch Super AMOLED as well, um, WiMAX support as well as EVDO Rev A. This supports all the Sprint services, um, all the hotspots, Sprint, uh, Mobi TV, etc. And has Asphalt 5 preloaded, which takes advantage of the uh, six axis uh, sensor. And then, of course, here's the Samsung Captivate, um, which has unique design, the full 720p, all the core widgets. Here's the Samsung email. This isn't configured, but it'll actually provide a unified inbox of Exchange and Gmail and other accounts all in one place, so you don't have to jump from app to app there. So the slight hardware differences, most of the software is typically the Samsung design UI and everything, but with uh, with the customizations from the carriers? With core operator customizations, so absolutely. we continue to see this type of stuff on uh, the same type of uh, operating system stuff on future Samsung. Touch, TouchWiz is, is, a, is a user experience concept that we believe provides some core simplifications. Like for example, things that you might find in a power widget elsewhere, we provide as part of your notification bar. The idea that those things are so core to your day-to-day -day needs that we should present them to you uh, cleanly uh, right there. So anything where we have that opportunity to provide a core experience uh, in a way that's easier, uh, we're going to continue to do across all of our platforms, be it Bada, Android, etc. Let me show you one other element of the hardware, which is a Super AMOLED. If you notice, the black background blends in with the bezel perfectly. The, of course, that gives you that bright, super high contrast ratio, makes the colors look like they're flo floating. 
downloading there. But for example, if you download the uh, Kindle app and you look at primary black with just the text in white, it consumes almost no power. The black, when it's on, consumes no power, essentially. So that's how you get the battery efficiency. In addition, the C110 Hummingbird processor is a 45 nanometer process. So that's super efficient um, you know, chipset technology, better than typically you see something in the 60 nanometer range. It's going to be less efficient on a power basis. So that's how we get the battery life. It's also 1,500 milliamp hour battery, essentially the largest that you find on a device, and also 9.9 .9 milliamp. Great. Awesome. Thank you very much for the day. No problem.